Well, if a Windsor-born inventor has his way, Canada's automotive capital might one day be building personal aircraft. Sandy Monroe is currently at an air show in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, displaying technology he believes will revolutionize flying, putting small planes into the hands of more people. Now, if the idea takes off, observers say it could help put Windsor on the road, or at least the flight path, to better economic times. Live with the story tonight, A Channel's John Lewis. Jim Monroe isn't sure if his idea will be accepted by the industry as it represents a shift in thinking, a paradigm shift. So, paradigm is what he's calling his aircraft. Clear prop. The sales director of Monroe & Associates fires up what his company calls the next propulsion system of the skies. If you think the engine mounted in the tail section of the paradigm looks just like an automotive motor, you're right. We have an automotive engine, a small block uh, V8, aluminum V8, running, as you can hear, running very smoothly. As we expect from current automotive technology, it starts every time, it's dependable. It's According to Fjord, that's not always the case with the conventional small aircraft engines, which are more expensive and said to become more difficult to fire up. The problem, airplane engines haven't kept up with changing technology. For example, Fjord says current plane engines are noisier than what Monroe & Associates wants to offer. Added to that, the plane will use a ducted propeller for added quietness. We want to make the Chevy of the sky or the minivan of the sky. Absolutely. We're going to take off. The CEO <laughs> says his research and development team have come up with a number of other innovations for safety. As a laser horizon warning the pilot about the pitch of the plane, GPS-guided computer navigation, airbag seat belts, lightweight seats, and a laser mold bonded skin all to help make the plane safer, faster, and cheaper, cutting the cost by more than half. Sandy Monroe can see a day when more people will fly themselves instead of relying on commercial airlines for short distances. He says he's being wooed by Indiana to build the planes there, but has a soft spot for Windsor. Because I was born in Windsor and I lived there for 40 years and my mother and all well, my family still lives there. The area's economic development officer sees great potential. We've got the strength at the university and the community college. We have a number of world-leading institutes now. Fisher adds use of small planes might be just a ticket for Windsor Airport and other airports of similar size which are underutilized and may benefit from more private plane travel. Now Monroe hopes to have a working prototype in about a year and a half and that would be about the same time Monroe says he'll need to make a decision on where to set up shop to build the plane. This is exciting news John. Now uh, what's the, the hold up to building the plane in Windsor? In short money, Monroe says the Indiana government is offering incentives worth millions of dollars, but he's talked to the city and has meetings plans with the federal and provincial governments. Okay, John, thank you. A Channel's John Lewis tonight with the latest on personal aircraft.